space to play. Anywhere that reflects the fun part of life. It's where you find your passion, your smiles, your laughter, your escape. Meet Steve Sherman, AKA Sherms. Artist, musician, surfer, photojournalist. Join him on his travels as he captures the fun, the funk, unexpected, and the space to play. <laughs> so when I first got the idea to start Sanook, you know, I didn't need to have an office or anything while I was putting all the pieces together. So I just worked out of my uh, shed here. We're actually in the carport. And this shed, which has now got all kinds of crap in it, was where I started Sanook. I had a, a phone right here and a fax machine and a file cabinet right here and a file cabinet right here and a little chair right there. And I sat in here and made all my original phone calls to um, a lot of the reps that are even still with us today to let them know what I was up to and what I was going to try to start and get them on board. And, uh, you know, even called up the couple of guys that put money into the deal in the very beginning, all right here from this shed. Kind of funny to think now we occupy what a few hundred thousand square feet of space, but uh, it all started in a cabinet. <laughs> Once I put a team of people together, then I had to put product together. Um, actually registered the name Sanook at the end of 97 and it took me almost all of 98 to put a crew of reps and um, financial guys together to really launch the brand. Uh, barely hit any product at the end of 98 and season was almost over when people were trying to sell out and not buy new stuff but one of the first products that I did was the For Real which is the green carpet sandal. It's indoor outdoor carpet and um, I promoted it as trailer trash with a little mini Airstream trailer. Uh, and that sort of put Sanook on the map and proud to say still one of the, one of the sandals in the line that really uh, speaks to the DNA of where the brand started. So we've pretty much had a ramp out here ever since this guy could walk. And uh, it's, been a, it's been probably a pretty big influence on the direction of where Sanook has gone. Having all these kids out here all the time, see what they're into, what they're doing, what they're not into. <laughs> Let's see what you guys got. Okay. <laughs> Canyon, we're going to go over to that fort. Come on, Luna. Let's get some rabbits. <laughs> Have a seat right there. How about Burnout? I love it. <laughs> Canyon, when you painted Burnout, who were you referring to? Ricky? Classic. Dog's pretty photogenic. I don't know about me. One blue eye. Good, yeah. Just a poser. <laughs> yes. You're a good girl. Good girl. Such a bronze paradise out here, right? Yeah. It's so beautiful. It's in there. Yeah, we shot um, an outdoor photo shoot with Chris Sharma and Randy Levitt. We had the tents pitched all right here. Shot them off this bluff. They scurried up that bluff there. Got some shots from here looking back. Looks like you're a million miles from anything, but you're just right there in the middle of it. You know, to be honest with you, I, I thought that Sanook would do good. I, I, you know, there was a lot of people that were into footwear that was unique and no <coughs> one from our culture was offering that. And when you create your own niche and you're not competing against anybody and you have the support of retailers, um, which we had from the start, we were very fortunate because of my history in the industry. Um, it was something I didn't think that we would fail at, but I think, that's probably the problem with most entrepreneurs. They don't start something and think they're going to fail. <laughs> so it could have been blind luck, who knows. Smile or die! <laughs> 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 